Alright, and welcome back to the next episode on my Pokemon Scarlet series with our buddy Fuecoco. Oh, Fuecoco, no, no! Well, that works too, I guess. Alright, let's do a quick auto heal. Can we auto heal? Oh, there we go. Anyway, uh, let's actually. Oh, there we go! <laughs> Initiate that cutscene. Yep, so we're heading up to the lighthouse, and we're going to start the cutscene here. It looks like. Hey, Yori, you getting me the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? You bet. I've been catching everything I see. <laughs> oh, mysterious cry. Whoa, what was that? I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I said we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Yori. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your step by these cliffs anyway. Alright. Yep, then we go to the cliffs. <clears throat> There's the sound. Oh, it's being bullied. There's my man. Oh, wow. Ooh, boy, he mad. And he caused this, uh, you know, cliff to crumble. Imagine having a phone that handy. It could just save you from dying. Alright. Hey, big guy. Well, there he is, Karidon. He's actually the one I like better out of the two. Um, I'm very much a big fan of, like, that, like, feather crest he has in his, like, well, I guess not this form, but his other form. Um, I don't, I don't really care for all those wheel looks, honestly, for either of them. But I'm not complaining either. I, I kind of like how he looks now. Oh. Oh, is this what the sandwich is for? There you go, big guy. Like a sandwich. Yeah? It's kind of like the more simplistic version of Toothless, when you think about it. Well, he certainly liked the sandwich. That perked him up. <clears throat> Look at that. Looking good to go now. Not gonna lie, he kinda looks cool in the form he is in now. Oh. Is he powering up? He's gonna like or is there something happening or like Oh. Oh, he's powering up. Nice. Like, yeah, just overall, this, this is a much cooler design in my opinion. I get there's a lot of people who like the more futuristic thing of uh, Violet, but I'm hands down for this, like, more, like, I guess, primitive, you know, feather crest kind of look. But this is just kind of my jam. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I really like this design so much more. Well, now we're going to follow this mysterious beast into a mysterious cave that we've never been to. This can only go so well. Well, there goes nothing, I guess. If I die, this is entire on you, my dude. Also, I'm gonna try something here. 
There we go. Okay. Uh, actually, what's the summer? What's the autumn uniform looks like? Oh, that's neat. And winter. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I think I'll wear the winter uniform. What about these crew socks? Yeah, okay. Um, kind of like sneakers. Yeah, we'll rock these for a bit. Gloves, eh, I never really cared for gloves. Uh, what about the canvas backpack? How's that look? Hmm. Uh, I think I'll stick with the school backpack for now. Oh, there we go. Let's, uh, remove. There we go. That's better. I honestly like seeing the full head of hair. Glasses, the full case. Oh, we got school, uh, school. Took cases for our phone. Alright. There we go. Honestly, I'm much more of a fan of not wearing the hat. <laughs> Alright, big guy. Let's keep moving. You, you, you lead. Lead the way. Oi, Yori! Hi, Nimona. There you are, Yori. You okay? You're not hurt, right? Luckily, no. Yes, I am indeed fine. Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you gotten hurt because I said we should go look for looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You just got to find your uh, find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. All right. Yes, he does indeed want me to follow. Oh man, wish I could have caught one of those like Hound Hour. There's a Hound Doom up there, the big boss. All right, let's actually uh, take advantage of this cave while we can and catch some Pokemon. really tempted to keep that Starly on my team, but I already have a fire type, so <laughs> probably no point. Alright, anyway, um I'm just gonna go simple. Your name is Chomp. And I got some young goose fur. Anyway, sorry, I had to take a drink right there. All the stalking is uh, really getting to my throat, you know? <clears throat> Let's grab this Pokeball. Alright, keep moving, Coridon. Actually, let's go grab this Diglett. There we go. Heck yeah, Diglett. Alright, give it a tackle. items if I need to, and then, uh, make sure I'm all good. Yeah, and I know I could probably come back down here, but I just want to make sure. Mm. Alright, Digby. Send the boxes. Come on, ride on. You can keep moving. Don't worry about me, dude. This is a pretty low-level area. Oh. 
Oh, there's a bunch of Hound Hour. Oh boy. Yeah, chase him off, big guy. <clears throat> Look at that, he's waiting for me to come kick their asses together. Yep, I'm coming. Anything behind here? No, okay. It's nice that I can move the camera around freely like this. Heck yeah, good job, big guy. Alright, let's move on. Oh my gosh, it's straight up pulverized that rock. Yeah? Yuri, look out! Something's coming! Oh no, it's the Hound Hour! They've come for revenge. Behind you! It's behind you! Oh, never mind, it's the Hound Doom. Not gonna lie, it would look, look kind of cool if there was like some actual roar inserted there. Clearly, I gotta obviously do that in editing. <laughs> Kaz was surrounded by Hound Hour. Oh man, this was about to go feral a moment there. He sees this, he's like, mm, gotta save the kid. Say, I'm liking this stuff so far. Oh, Nimona. Oh, Nimona. Yes, I have, uh, I have been saved. Way to go. For a second, I thought you were both goners. And this guy's like. Gotta, you know, head out. He's like gonna go on his own little mission, I guess. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. Okay, scratch that, I guess. He's uh, not going on his own little mission. Whoa, what's wrong? Maybe it used up all its power. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never quite uh, seen one quite like this before. Now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? Yeah, definitely hard to say. <laughs> you can't tell either, huh, Iori? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow look perfectly in sync facing down that houndoom. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? <laughs> Oh, the guy's perked up a bit. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh, guess he got place to be. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more serious it seems. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we get in touch if we ever so if we somehow get separated again. Will do. I like that case. And here, this will help you teach your Pokemon to move to help it uh, battle stronger opponents. And we got Swift. Think before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. Oh, we're back to this system. 
So I've heard there's crafting in this game, uh, which you, uh, which is why we have all those Pokemon parts. So I'm only assuming that's why how we get TMs. If so, that's really cool. Well, not if so. <laughs> Sorry about that. That seems to be the case. Oh man, it's like really early for me, and I've been, uh, I've been staying up all night trying to make sure I, uh, was able to play this game. It's quite literally like, you know, about one in the morning or something for me, so. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, it's, uh, definitely a case where, um, you know, I, I, I was, uh, I was excited for this game, so <laughs> I stayed up, like, the entire night. Honestly, I, uh, I think after I get to Newtown, I'm probably gonna have to take a rest. Why that little? What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you, you can shove off. Rude much. Wait, I knew. Are you Arvin? You're ruled in the humanities track, right? Aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sada? Doesn't matter who my mom is. Oh, somebody's got mommy issues. I feel like this is the classic case of uh, a dude who's uh, basically being uh, forced uh, a lot of, uh, you know, the whole, you know, everyone thinks he's going to be made for greatness situation or something, or following his mom's tracks or something like that, but, you know, kind of feel bad for him about that, but, you know, the real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here, and what is with this form it's in? See, we heard the strange cry. We tried to investigate, but Yori fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kind of slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. The form Coridon takes in battle. That's its true form. Coridon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the Academy too, don't you? Coridon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? I think you're up to ordering Coridon around? And how about I test your worthiness? Bring it on, buddy! I'll wipe that attitude right off of you. Heh, <laughs> but look at you, quite the little go-getter. I'll smack that attitude right off your face, buddy. Even though you're taller than me and stuff, but still. I've been feeling all out of sorts, so I'm gonna use this battle to blast these doldrums away. Want it gone. Alright. Kinda cringe. Man's going through his emo phase. Alright, let's get him with a round. <laughs> How dare he fight me? awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just got. But if you really think you can take Karidon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that brute's been kept in. 
Okay. Well, guess I have a new pet. So why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. What? Oi, can you not hear me or something? Right. Oh boy's got no manners. Fine, be that way. But you better... Oh, okay. What a weirdo. Alright, new pet. Welcome aboard. <clears throat> the Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna wring some answers at him. Yeah, you bet, Nimona. You go get him. You get him, girl. But, oh, right. We gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of the, our school. Alright, let's get up that lighthouse. Right, is there any, like, thing I can, like, throw a lava Pokeball at by chance? No? Oh well, that's unfortunate. Alright. Hey, Nimona. No! Damn it! Oh, whoops. Yeah, just casually tossing Lyle off of, uh, the edge. You know, it's fine. Look, Yuri, that's Mezagoza. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class, Iori. We'll say I'm kinda of glad I don't go to uh, school anymore in real life, but honestly, I bet being in a Pokemon school will be a lot more exciting. Right, I can't wait to get back. We're gonna get, uh, get to learn so much and battle so, so, so much. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Yeah, it's, it's actually quite neat. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff, as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Heck yeah, tons of Pokemon. Let's go, boys. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Oh, there's the first town, at least. Let's make it to Los Platos, for starters. That's right on the way. Come on. Vamos, come on. On my way, Nimona. On my way. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kinda, like, you know, trudge on ahead. I'm not going to worry way too much about, like, any getting every item or whatnot. I just want to get going. Uh, you know what? The experience wouldn't hurt. Alright, let's make this kid to Pokemon. Oh, Tarantula. Oh, good thing I got a fire type, ain't it? Good job, Lyle. Heck yeah. Yeah, get him, Spindle. Yes, my Pokemon are strong. Thank you for noticing. Ooh, Psyduck. Alright. Let's give it a round. That didn't do much. Give me tackle. There we go, that's the catching range. Tail whip, how dare you? Yeah, and I'm just, uh, once I get to the first town is when I will probably, uh, stop really showing all of my extreme grinding, but... For now, I, I, I don't think I'm going to be needing to catch, like, a crap ton of Pokemon. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. 
very unoriginal, but quackers. Alright, Psyduck, welcome to the team. So, let's go around and see what else we got. Uh, there's a group of Pommy. Ooh, is that the Whooper? Okay, first let's grab this guy. Heck yeah. Let's tackle him. Lyle's defense fell. Whatever shall I do? Nothing. You fool. Oh, man. Azura was caught. Yeah. Alright. Then, let's, uh, yep. Get this to the Pokedex. Whoops. I almost forgot the H. Alright, send the boxes. Alright, um, I'm gonna go check out this little area real quick. Uh, just kinda like scan around. I realize I may actually need Pokeballs after all, and maybe there's some Pokemon I could catch too. Oh my god. That's a wide range. Ooh, two Pokeballs, nice. Honestly, I'm doing this definitely more to see if there's any Pokemon I could grab while I'm out here. Is that anything new by chance, or is that just like a rock? Oh, that's a Gimme Ghoul! Can I... Oh! Oh! Okay. That's neat. Also, why... Oh, we got... No! Yeah. Whoopsies. Lyle, I'm going to actually let you just kind of do a... Yeah, like, let's go battle thing. Get him, Lyle. on a rampage. Alright. Good job, Lyle. Turn. Oh boy, Lyle was on a rampage there. Right, let's go up here, see if there's anything interesting. Ooh, hello. Endure. Okay. Oh, that's an Oricorio. Oh. Huh. Whoopsies. Gosh dang it. There we go. Get close to the little one. Alright. Alright, let's see. Let's give it a round. You dare peck me. Around. I feel like I could technically get away with using, uh, you know, a new move, or using a new move here, but... Let's give it one more round. Alright. Good, good.
didn't really expect to catch this guy so early on, but I'm not complaining either. It's actually a nice little surprise. Alright, now let's go. Lyle, kill. Ooh, a weasel. Let's capture this. Again, I'm, I'm gonna try and capture a lot of stuff. Uh, this this episode is gonna run me a little bit harder, but you know. Yeah, this episode is gonna run me a little bit more, <clears throat> but it is what it is. I'll definitely make sure things are uh, you know not laggy, not all messed up in editing anyway. Um, I've got some business today, but. All right, weasel. All right, jet. Send the boxes. Oh, I just want to see if I can catch every last thing I can find before I really get into town here. I know that's probably asking a lot, but... Uh, is there anything interesting in here? Oh, is that Chudo? <gasps> Chudo! Oh. That works, though. Hey, little man! Definitely gotta catch me one of those bloopers. Ow! Okay, definitely healing Lyle after this. Choodle was caught. Right, and then... Yep, Choodle, yep. yep. Since this guy has jaws of, uh, you know, destruction, I'll just call him Crush. Welcome aboard, Crush. That's honestly really useful to have. Uh, alright. Let's quickly catch us a whooper. Ooh, wiggly buff. I feel like I can go for an ember here and get away with it. There we go. He threw mud in my eyes. Definitely gonna need to restock up Pokeballs after this. Wooper was caught. Hmm. Name a new skipper after the Mud Skipper. Because uh, Mud Skippers are pretty neat, so. Personal opinion? You know. <gasps> Happy and Ooh, Rawls. Holy cow, so many Pokemon to catch. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Please don't kill this guy. Oh, thank goodness. special um, I want to say you're probably a special attacker based on these 
certain stat balances, but... Yeah, because if that's your boosted physical, then you're probably a special attacker, Lyle. Boxes. <clears throat> All right. Let's try and get a little. Oh, good, another Pokeball. Just what I need. Let's start with this guy. If I'm lucky, you'll be a male. Okay. Eh, we'll take it though. I do need a female for uh, guard bar after all. Not that there's anything stopping me from doing a male uh, guard bar, but come on, there we go. So now my next mission is to obviously find a male one of those. Um, I'm not gonna go out on my way to do that right now, because that's probably gonna be a bit tough, but I'll do that after I, you know, get on to the next episode, uh, after I get to town. Whoops. Uh. Again, I'm, I'm still gonna try and go out on my way to catch some, uh, what I can here. I just wanna try and catch everything I can before I really, you know, decide to, uh, eagerly buff. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Right, give him an ember. Ha! Ah, miss me. <clears throat> Eagly Buff was caught. Let's go, boys. Oh, Firecracker Learn Never. Sweet. Alright, let's get this guy registered. Or little girl, anyway. So, every now and again, I like to use Jigglypuff just for fun. Or I also like read out a personal, like, Battle Jigglypuff for fun. And Mickey has always been a name I use for Jigglypuffs. Don't know why. Obviously, this guy's gonna become a Wigglytuff down the line. Because, uh, you know, Pokedex, but... I'm going to collect some items, see if there's any last Pokemon I need to know about, or try and, you know, work on. Oh, ooh, hello. Endure. Oh, Endure again. Caesar. Ooh, Fido! I think I'm gonna make this my last catch and then go into town. Yep. And conveniently it's a male, so. <clears throat> Alright, biscuit. Send me the boxes for now. Uh, let's see, one little quick to see if there's a waltz. Into town I go. Alright, here we are. Made it to town, and this is the Pokemon Center and everything. Boy, Yori, over here! Alright, Pokemon Center, Pokemon Mart. I assume that's a crafting machine. 
It's kind of neat how they did this, like, real, like, kind of simplistic Pokemon Center stand. You can come here to take a lot care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon, but I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Alright, yep, keep your most Pokemon healthy. Pokemart, yep, buy things like balls and potions. I'll definitely need Pokeballs. League points, one is worth one. Okay, so it's one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, oh, okay, there we go, TM crafting. points. Alright, cool. Oh, I guess I already had some. I'm only assuming that probably means I get lead points from doing things like battling, catching, etc. I'll definitely be using that Union Circle anytime now. Um, again, it's... Sometimes you have to know this stuff, uh, sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember that you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way, you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around or go battle on its own, or other stuff like that. Yep, I actually discovered that a little earlier. <laughs> Alright, good to know. Alright, let's heal up the team. Ooh, I like the little icons they do. That's neat. Alright. Okay, staff can give tips. Nice. So anyway. Yeah, so, um, anyway. I think that's really gonna be about it. Uh, yeah, this is where I'll stop it for now. Um, I'm honestly exhausted, so I better get some sleep, because I'm going to be playing later today, and I've got someone, uh, coming to pick up some, uh, rats. I, uh, do, uh, rat breeding, uh, for pets and feeder, but... Thankfully, these guys are fetched from uh, Pet Litter that I recently bred. Um, anyway, until then, I will catch you next time. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, today's, or this current episode of Pokemon Scarlet. Catch you around.